I just took a sample off my iPhone this time, man. No records. I hooked it up into the computer like this. This is the main reason why sampling is gonna change, is because technology has gotten so good that you can create your own samples using iPhones, little cheap keyboards. It's good and loud, it sounds like hip hop, it's got a bass line, drums, sound effects, sample. The sample was made by me with the iPhone, so, boom. You have to remember when, when people started sampling, this genre of music, they said, oh, it's a phase, it's not gonna last. Now it's a huge revenue-making division at the record companies and the publishing companies. Sampling has kind of brought legality into hip-hop, and I think it really kind of propelled hip-hop into um, the business world. This is where almost the money affects the culture. In the world of music, a sample is when someone takes a pre-existing copyright and they incorporate it into a new song. You need to clear the rights to the song itself as an abstract idea, and you need to, to clear the actual recording of the song. The bottom line is, if you have incorporated someone else's music in your song, you need to clear it. You can get sued over stuff like that. Like, if you don't clear a sample and whatever else, you can get sued. If you make something that you know is gonna get really huge and used in a legal sample, you've gotta go through the proper channels and get it cleared and all that stuff. The record company gets notified, it's the artist that gets blamed, but the producer gets hit with the cost as much as the artist. If I got sued, man, knock on wood, if I got sued, let's just say, I really wouldn't go back to sampling. Think about, that's just me, like think about all the other people who have even less than me or more to lose. And it's a class issue in there as well, because if we're talking about the inability to sample, a lot of that has to do with money. We're talking about people who are coming out of nothing and creating music as a resistance movement, as a way to reframe their identity. They didn't need a lot of money to do that. Now what we're saying is unless you're Jay-Z, unless you're Kanye West, unless you can afford to pay all of the clearances, that you don't have the right. It's a messed up world, especially now, because there's no money in music. So say someone sampled them back in the day and they never did anything about it because it wasn't big enough cookies. Nowadays, there, there isn't enough money out there for them to really not chase after sample producers. You just can't have a legal system that is not consistent with the culture because it's just going to continue to not work. I think it just brings these interesting questions um, to the table in terms of what are we doing this for? Like, is it about the music anymore or, you know, is it about the money?